What's up, what's up everyone? This is Lee, the Video Game Truck Guy. And in today's episode, I would like to talk to you about uh, filtering certain organizations that you will be working with. So, here's the thing. Sometimes you'll be going out to do events for companies who are not well or not properly organized. So, this has happened when you go out to like an after-school program. And there's like 300 children, and there's maybe like one chaperone who's probably like a student who doesn't care whether people are playing or not. Their job is just to have like a little clipboard. And on this clipboard, they just sign off names to see who attended the event, right? And a lot of these kids, they, they're not supervised. They don't care if they break something. They just don't, pardon my French, give a shit about what happens. They just want to get in there and play. So you come out to this event and you realize that, whoa, this is bad. So... I have a rule when I do certain events and certain uh, locations for, 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 for uh, programs, and that is if I have to speak more than a couple of times and no one, like, no one pays attention to me, what I do is I shut the whole thing down. I just turn the generator off and I say, everyone out, right? Everyone goes out, they line up, I go over the rules one more time. I go over the rules one more time, I let everyone know, hey, this is how things are. If you want to play, you're going to follow the rules. If you don't want to follow the rules, one of you could ruin it for everyone. Okay? I turn everything back on. I make them wait. And then I get them back inside. Now, if an adult or someone else comes out again in a very respectful manner, I tell them exactly what happened. Uh, if they challenge me and say, we're paying good money for this while you're doing this, well, no, because sometimes they're not paying good money for it and they're being very disrespectful. So uh, I do not sugarcoat anything when I'm talking to a chaperone or a person who is in charge of the event if they are not doing their job, but I do it in a very respectful manner. If I have to turn the generator off again because the kids are wild, they're, they just don't care, I am not coming back to that event again. There have been times now where people have called me back to do uh, reoccurring business. I decline it. i rather not make $250, $300 on some events where I know that I'm going to turn gray by the time that the event is over because that company doesn't have their operations pulled together properly. Maybe you will experience this. Maybe you will not experience this. But just keep in mind that not all, not all organizations are ran properly. Not all of them will help you. A lot of them really don't care. They just get a funding check from someone, they cut it for you, and then however you run it, however you run it. But a, a lot of the kids, especially when you're, when you're working with kids who are like between the ages of 11 and 15, who just don't care about your authority within the game truck, you know, then that's when it gets tough and you do have to make those calls sometimes. So that is my filtration process. If I have to turn the truck out twice, I am not going back out to that event unless I call them back or they say why. I say because we need to have two to three more chaperones and everyone needs to follow the rules. And if they don't, then it is a no-go. And here's the cool thing. Actually, one time, so there's a couple organizations I don't work with anymore. But one time I did come back to one and I came back to them because on the phone, I told them exactly how things need to be set up if they want me back out again. And they understood it. They actually, like, there's like a new level of respect now because they're like, hey, this guy doesn't, you know, F around. He just, it is what it is. So um, just be careful. Know what you're doing. And if you have to shut down the game truck, you're probably doing an event that uh, might not be worth it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe down below. And you have an awesome day.